Hey guys, Mike from Pinpoint Podiatry here. Today we're gonna to be talking about increasing your ankle range of motion, and I'll also show you how to do that from home. Now, a decreased ankle range of motion is often associated with a lot of injuries, so ankle sprains, Achilles tendon pain, heel pain, calf strains, and the list goes on and on. So it's very important for you guys out there who are playing sport or at the gym to work on your flexibility. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you a few exercises in my own home, how to increase your ankle range of motion. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start off with a few foam rolling techniques or lacrosse ball, cricket ball, tennis ball, any type of firm ball to loosen up and release those muscles that cross the ankle joint. So we're gonna start off with the tibialis anterior muscle. That's the muscle just down the front of your shin. So what you do, take your ball and run it down that muscle valley. So if you find a nice tight spot, hold it there for a few seconds and then release. Really we wanna be aiming for about 30 seconds at a time and then totaling up to about two minutes. So basically you'll do about four sets of 30 seconds on each muscle group here. So just moving down the front of the shin here and releasing that muscle belly. All right, so the next muscle group that we have is the perineals. The perineals run down the side of your leg just here. So similar concept with what we just had, take your ball, put it on the ground, cross your leg over just like this and then we're gonna rub the ball down into those perineal muscles. Now this can be quite uncomfortable if you guys have tight perineals. So we're just, again, working up and down that muscle belly. And if you guys find a nice tight spot, hold it there for a few seconds and then release. So ideally you wanna be doing it for 30 seconds and then totaling for two minutes. So maybe four sets of 30 seconds. Alrighty, so the next muscles that we'll be focusing on are the calf muscles, so you can use a foam roller. You can try the ball. Um, just put the foam roller up underneath your leg, just like this. And we're just gonna be running down that muscle belly once again, trying to release those calves. Now, if you guys find a nice tight spot, hold it in there, and then you can go back to rolling the calf muscles out, just like that. You guys, make sure we do both sides. We don't want any imbalances between your left and your right side. That can also can contribute to further injury down the line. Alrighty, so next exercise, take a resistance band, towel, anything that you can essentially wrap around your foot, just like this. And then you're gonna lie down and just pull that foot back towards you. So you're really focusing on the calves here once again so just pull there hold it for 30 seconds and then take a break and then get back to it again and again make sure that you're doing both sides equally we want to make sure that our leg is nice and straight no bend in the knee but if we want to focus on the soleus bend your knee and hold that just there like that now this is a little bit trickier um, compared to the long straight leg but it can be done. So the next exercise, what you're gonna do, take your resistance band, find something to tie it around, can be around the bottom of your stairs, just like me, around a squat rack, whatever you've got, use that. We're gonna put our leg through the resistance band just here and put it around the front of the ankle, just like that. Now with the resistance band, you're gonna take a step out, get some resistance, have this leg nice and straight, and we're gonna bend down into the resistance band, hold it there, and then come back just like that. Now guys, we don't wanna be twisting our hips to achieve that dorsiflexion at our ankle. So nothing like this. You wanna keep it nice and straight and make sure that the movement is coming from the ankle joint. So just like this, keep your back nice and straight, knees over the toes, and then come back again. Now, if you guys wanna focus on that deeper soleus muscle, Grab a five kilo plate, 10 pound plate, put it up underneath your foot, and the same again, keeping your hip nice and straight. Just bend down into your stretch, and then do that again. Alrighty, so this next exercise, guys, is a little bit more advanced. I don't recommend that you do it if you've never stepped foot inside a weight room. A lot of Olympic weightlifters use this technique to increase their ankle range of motion to help them get a nice vertical spine when they squat. So what you do is, 
I've got a bar here with a bit of weight on the sides. This is about 40 kilos, so it's not very heavy at all. It's probably about 80, 90 pounds around there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bar, sit it down on top of your knees, and you're just gonna hold this position here for about 30 seconds. Now, make sure you keep your back nice and straight. And it can be quite, it can be quite difficult. So making sure our knees don't collapse. And we're just gonna hold that there for about 30 seconds. Once you've done that, take a bit of a break and then you can get back to it again. So for about two minutes, all up doing that. Don't push it any further than you can't go. So admittedly, I need to work on my ankle mobility. But as you can see, just like that, 30 seconds, and you guys will feel this, no doubt. Alrighty guys, I hope you understood the exercises. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I actually know that you guys enjoy these types of videos. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video if you do enjoy these types of videos. Feel free to follow me on social media at Pinpoint Podiatry where I update you guys daily and give you daily tips. Also, be sure to keep an eye out on my next performance review, which will drop tomorrow on the PG1. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And as always, be an ankle breaker. Don't get your ankles broken. And I'll see you guys soon.